sis. Hey sis. Hey sus. Hey sis. Hey sus. Hey sis. Hey sus. Hey sis. Hey sus. How are how was our old one? Hey sis. Hey sus. Hey sis. Hey. Hey sis. Hey sus. Hey. We don't got no real song. We really. We're just going as thing as the days goes by. Yeah. As the time goes by. But we just want to say thank you for clicking on play. That means a lot. We're having fun today. Make sure you go and grab your makeup and just do your makeup with us. We're going to be asking each other some questions Mm -hmm. and answering it. We have buy some game from Target. If you watch our Christmas video, we had um, put it. We asked some questions and ate some nasty dry cookies that my mom got from work. So I was like, hey, let's just continue to ask each other some more questions. Hopefully the questions we asked before are not in this. Okay, so Savannah, what do you recommend I let go of, if anything? And this is we're not really strangers. So we come in here curious, but we leave connected. Okay, that's the purpose of the game. Yeah, and then on top of that, we're all the same in the inside. That's what the box on the Mm -hmm. inside said. Um, dang, what do you recommend I you let go of, mm-hmm. if anything? Yeah. Your doubts, I think. Or is it something, like, like... It's a reflection. Oh, so there's damn, different levels. So, so the card that I picked up is the level three, and it's reflection. The deep card. From, oh, okay. And the question is, what do you recommend I let go of, if anything? I'll just say your, um, I mean, you're doing it now. I'll say your doubts. When it comes to yourself. Because I have bad insecurity yeah. issues. Especially I'm like with her body or how she looks. And I'm like, you look great. I think that's something I would recommend that you let go of. Because um, if we think people are thinking the same way we're thinking, it's going to, not how we think, but the way we actually are thinking, it's going to affect their everyday living. And you don't want that to affect you. You know, as you get older and older every day. Okay, now pick up your card. And how many times are you gonna pass this one for? This ain't a toner. Technically, it is. It's, it's not it a toner. Is. It says it a pre makeup skin toner. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it is. I prefer to use the Maran. Yo, this, for Miami girls, summertime, so summer heat, and this humidity, Maran is gonna save the day. Okay, because my face just but I learned we all need a moisturizer, so I always moisturize it with depends. this first, and then I go in with the Maran. I like it sometimes. Don't worry, pray for her, y'all. Oh, hold on. You can get from this section. I did, but I filled out a dig deeper card. Oh, we digging deep. Oh, Jesus. All right, so what it what about me is the most strange or unfamiliar to you? What about me is the most strange and Will it light the light reflect? It's this girl I've known her for the past twenty seven years. I was like, did she start to And she I had, she is the most creative human being I have ever met. What about me is the most strange or unfamiliar to you? And what's so strange is she can be so creative but so scared to show her creation to other people. So that's what's strange about like she these videos, like when you see all these influencers and I'm like, Sav, that could have easily been you, but she gets so lost in her head sometimes that she stops herself and I find it so strange because she comes up with so many great ideas and so many great content, but then stops herself from, you know, moving forward or publishing those great things so that's something so strange like she's so creative y'all so creative my hair her everything is her so it's to see that that's what 2022 talk about or 2020 it's time to childhood childhood trauma girl you ain't a child no more get over it technically i kind of am oh my god (laughs) okay (laughs) Oh, I chose from the same one. This is level one. Which is perfect. And and it says, do I look kind? Explain. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, if I could enter and have Vanessa be laughing, (laughs) I would. All right, so do you look kind? I don't know. You do look kind to me. 
You know how people be talking about RBF? Like, we naturally look like mean girls. But then in reality, they're like, oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Oh my god, how much I love you and your sister. <laughs> you do come, do, yeah, you look kind. Thank you. Um, you smile more than me. So, you do, you, yeah, Sam's naturally like warming and welcoming. Um, she's like, oh my gosh, I, I love the Lord. Like, that's Sam. You know, if you want prayer, you're going to go to her. You're not going to be like, I need a hip Savannah. You're going to be like, Sam, where's Sam? Don't listen Cause, to her. Y'all. No, because she is more like the more welcoming sibling out of all of us. Besides her and love, she's the, they're the most welcoming one. The rest, the other four of us, we just mean muggy people. And we like the gross sisters. That's it. You feel me? So that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Like how Ella Esther be saying it. That's how I feel. Girl, you pick up the card. <laughs> this girl, she get off the topic, y'all. I am. Oh my god. So level two. The question is about connection. So what's been the the best compliment a stranger has ever given you? Mm. The best compliment, compliment that a stranger has ever given you. What's the, the best compliment a stranger has So ever? imagine you My are- smile, like, okay, so y'all, when I smile, I have this thing right here, right? This thing? Have a gap. My nephew, y'all, y'all won't believe this. My nephew asked my brother, which is his dad, adults have missing teeth. <laughs> Because auntie don't have a teeth here, and he's so young, so he understand that it's my gap. But a stranger always tells me, oh my God, you ever wore braces because you have beautiful teeth. I've never worn braces, but I do want to get braces only to close out the bottom gaps and to kind of close some of the gap here because I'm so, I'm subconscious of it. Especially when a little kid come up to us asking you if you have a missing tooth. Duh. Like, yo, that messes up my self-esteem, y'all. These kids like, different. These kids, yo, I was like, dang, my old nephew asking these questions. Nah, it's that But one. to hear a stranger be like, oh my God, you have a beautiful smile, knowing that sometimes I don't like my smile, that's a great compliment that I get, so. Mm. You are from Oh my god. Did you compliment me? I no. compliment you every day. You my sister, you got no choice. Wow. Okay, level two, connection. How can you become a better person? Oh Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Savannah, how could you become a better person? I hate that question. I mean oh, you yeah. should you should, okay. You should learn how to be teachable. Is it be teachable or be a student every day? Mm-hmm. So, um, you should reflect on areas. That's why it's good to journal. I should have bought a real scissor and cut this thing so. But that's why it's good for you to journal, just so you can reflect and see, oh my gosh, I was such a beat in this time, in this day, and see, figure out why did you, why, why did you choose to be that type of person during that time period? But, um, how can I, so how can I become a better person? So through journaling, shut up, through journaling, and now to be cautious, Shut up. I need to be cautious because sometimes I'd be like, hey, so I'll be I'll be calling Sam out her name. But it's not on purpose, y'all. I'll be I think I'm part of the hood shows I'll be watching. So it's not my fault. So I second that. So I apologize for calling you a bitch. You know? Thank but you for apologizing. Shut up. But see, trigger moments, childhood traumas. Traumas. So traumatizing <laughs> She traumatizing herself. <laughs> So that I would say definitely through um Shouldn't have trauma, trauma. through I mean it's some form of trauma, I don't got it, but it's some form. Um, okay. Definitely through having conversations. So how to become a better person, I'll ask you how should I become a better person. Having those tough conversations will help you form a better you for tomorrow. Also too, if you have someone that that you consider a confidant. Or even to like if um, you could talk to your parents. I'll be talking to my mom sometimes. Um, if like um, who else? My siblings, my parents. I remember I'll randomly ask them ways that I could do better. 
Like Sam, I told Sam, had to force myself, but I didn't force myself, but I just wanted to tell Sam, thank you for being a perfect roommate, because we always in the same room together, so we're on the same bed. So I was like, thank you for being a perfect roommate. And she was like, why the hell are you telling me that? And I was like, I just can't tell you that. You see? And that's not even forming a better me. But I'm trying to be a better me. See, see the problem? You see the problem? There you go. So it's just how, yeah. Communication is key. That is how you become a better person. Communication. Asking people, what areas do you see that I'm failing at that I could do better in? Mm-hmm. If you can't communicate that and look through your journal and see, oh my God, I was such an idiot in 2010 and now it's 2020 and I'm doing better and now it's 2022 and you trying to say F them. You feel me? So that's how that's what you got to do sometimes. Mm-hmm. You, you just got to improve. Got to mm-hmm. improve and do better. So journal, communication, ask the hard question. And if you feel some type of way the person asks your question, close yourself in a room. And talk to yourself about it. Sorry, you better talk to the Lord. Tell the Holy Spirit, hello, what's up, how you doing? And then it, they're going to tell you how, how it is. Sometimes it's you're forced to see yourself in the eyes of other people. And when you see yourself in other lenses, you're like, damn, I look like an idiot. You feel me? And I could improve in those areas. So, yeah. I think that, oh, I have to ask a question. Mm-hmm. But I think that concludes that I answered the question. Yeah, she answered the question. I did? Thoroughly? Thoroughly, thoroughly. Good. Okay. If this was FCAP, you, you did it. Yeah, because I probably have to go extra with the details mm-hmm. here and there. So here's a little fun fact. I take it longer to do my makeup than Sam. So if Sam's finished before this video, it's the wrong fault. And the Dior, gotta make her sit for a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was doing if you saw me letting this sit. I have to go in with our sis and co chocolate drop make sure to purchase yours it, it gets you clutch okay all right so y'all i picked up a wild card oh god it's just like me so it's level three reflection so write a song about your friend your sister your cousin <laughs> me because i'm the partner in the game in 30 seconds then sing it out loud and get into it and we both gotta do it Okay, we gotta write a song. No, you write a song and I write a song. <laughs> That's what I just asked. So we both have to write a song. Oh, but how are we gonna write a song if we got doing our makeup? I have put it underneath here. Okay, let's come up with one on the Yeah, song. come up with one. Okay, write a song. Um, S to the A to the B to the A to the N to the A to the A. Say what? S to the A to the V to the A to the N to the A to the A. Say she fly, she smart, she fine, she got a body, she got brains, she rides, she got money, she pull up. <laughs> Period. And that's on what? Period. <laughs> And that's on what? Period. And that's on what? Period. She was born here in the MIA. Got six siblings and a mom and a dad. She loves her family. She loves her business. And she loves making women feel pretty. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I so should say. So S to the A to the M to the Y R A. S to the A to the M to the why are a her name Samira? She is so fine. Y'all better come up. Come get her cousin. She is my sister. She's stylish and fine. Y'all better come get her. Because she's still mine. S to the A to the M to the Y R A. S to the A to the M to the Y R A, and that's on what? Period. <laughs> Yo, that is so dumb. Yo, that was a. Fun that's car. actually a fun um car. All right. Another wrong car. Oh! Okay, sing the chorus of your favorite song of all time. Get into it. Dang. What's your favorite song, Fab? It has cuss words. I mean, just bleep it. Your favorite song. Hey. God didn't call us to be perfect. Hold on, y'all. I need to make sure I'm, I'm, I know God don't he call us to be perfect. He loves us the way we are. So. Alright, is that that song by Lil Duval? That best song? That 
You're living your best oh. life. Smile. Okay. I'm living my best life. Hey. Ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. Ooh. Ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. Ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. Hey. Ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> that that is definitely that's a jam. That's my jam right there. How about yours, girl? That was your question. Oh, it wasn't shoot. a true people thing. Oh damn! At least we got into it. Too. We did. Period. Okay. Damn. Why did I? Oh, who's that? I'm gonna switch it up because I don't got a vehicle yet. But on a scale of one to ten, if I had a vehicle. How messy do you think my car was? One being the cleanest, ten being a complete disaster, and explain. Yeah. I Are you serious? You being you doing the most right now. For the invisible car park in the driveway. Okay. Let me speak life in her. Thank you. Good job. I'll give her a five. <laughs> Yo, you don't think my car will be like clean? Oh, no, sorry. Bruh, we're gonna look back when the vehicle comes and it's sitting right on the drive. Yeah, it'll be clean for the first month. No, don't days. know me. And then my dog will just be like, I, I was in a rush today. Oh my god, I, I didn't have Bogus. time. Bogus. I'm already buying compartment time. sleeves and stuff for this vehicle. I didn't mean? have time to do everything. You know, I was in a She rush. lying. I was in a rush today. You are a liar. So. Fire, fire, fire. Wow. That's the truth. How you Don't get mad at the player, get mad at the game. Mm. Okay. Oh. Level one, mm. perception. Who do you think is my celebrity crush? Who do you think my celebrity crush is? Oh, damn. A guy? Hell, he, why would it be a girl? I know that, but... Okay. Um... I mean, you can have girls that be. I know, but, but I, just I, don't. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just paying extra. I would say, um, I should have got my last one. I would say, is it? Can it be Lance? Can it be anybody? Okay, sorry. It could be Lance Gross. That's not Lance Gross. His last name, buddy that plays on Tyler Perry song. Chocolate, Kofi, Chocolate, Idris Alba. Chocolate. I don't know. I haven't had a celebrity. Crush. That's what I'm saying. You just want people that you. They should name it as. It's not even a like you just fancy them. They should have reworded that question. They should have yeah. said, which one of these people that you like, you fancy. I think that's a, a better term for this question. I think fancying is different. Hold on, y'all boys. Are you lying to yourself about anything? Oh, I can't give them all my business. Mm. So, what's something in general that you think people are lying to themselves about? I think that's like a better way to make it generalize. Like, what are you guys think you're lying to yourself? And if you feel comfortable enough, you can put your. If you have any answers to any of our questions, you can put it in the comments below. Let's interact with each other. We are yes, because we are doing our makeup together. We're not doing this by ourselves. No. Know? So let me know about you too, girl. You can't be saying you're a sis. I don't know about you, girl. You can't be my sis. I don't know you. Exactly. So, um, um, I may, um, I don't know. I think I'm in a good season this year. I used to be lying about my happiness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like when you're like people are like, oh, how are you? You're like, oh, I'm doing fine, everything. But then deep down, you're really not doing fine because life is not going the way that you planned it out to go, or you're not where you want to be and stuff like that. But I think like this year, I've really been okay with who I am, okay with the season that I'm in, okay with the areas that I've prayed for. That even though I haven't really seen 
the miracle, but I know the miracle is in motion, meaning the miracle is almost here. Hey, Pastor. And even for this season, one of my friends asked me, what am I praying for for this new year? You know, the, your girl birthday was just the other day, pew, August pew, pew. 1st, you know, Leo season. <laughs> um, but um, I declare that this year of 32 is my breakthrough season, that Everything that I've prayed for, everything that I believe God for is the year that I'm stepping into it right now. That Amen. my car is coming, my money is coming, my husband, like all those great things that I've prayed and believed God for for the past 31 years, year 32, I'm declaring um, and I'm having faith that I'm going to walk boldly into that season. Amen. So, and I pray the same for all of us. It's all of our winning season. I gotta ask you something. Yes. Oh. Write down one thing you want to let go of this year. Read it out loud, then rip up together. Y'all know like we did we this, did this yeah. but it's fine because this year is a it's new, a new it's year. A, yeah. Like you know, even though we're at our mid-year mark, is mm -hmm. your hand less dirty than mine? Kind of, because my, my makeup is mad dark. 